Hey girls and guys, it's Presley, and today in this video, I'm going to be talking about what I've been watching, like TV series, Netflix, Disney+, Plus, all of that. And by the way, my fan is on back there. If you hear a bunch of noise, it's because it's really, it's hot as fuck out here. Not out here, in here, excuse me, since I'm not outside, I'm inside, and it's summertime, and it's so, so hot. Literally, like, ugh. I hate the summertime and I hate the heat. I prefer winter anyway because it's easier to get warm and it's hard to get, it's hard to cool off during the summertime. Anyway, moving on. What I've been watching, and it's specifically Netflix. Now, I made a previous video talking about both Netflix and Disney Plus. And in that video, I said I prefer Disney Plus over Netflix. And I still do. I, I still do truly. But there is one thing I, I usually like to catch up on some things on Netflix that I haven't seen in a while like there's some kids shows that I used to watch back in my day like iCarly Big Time Rush that stuff is on Netflix and I catched up on that but keyword but there's one show that I want that I've been watching for such a long time and it's been almost a week now nearly a week probably already a week and this show is called lucifer and it's such a good show i was so invested in it like i first got into it when my mom started watching it she was in her bedroom watching lucifer on netflix and i was like what are you watching she said lucifer and i'm like huh that it's it sounds real interesting so i got to check up on it i started watching it last Thursday and my goodness I must say it is something I never thought I would watch in my entire life it is so good the characters are amazing the main character Lucifer is so funny like so hilarious and if you haven't seen that show I'll try my best not to spoil it so it all starts off with a guy named Lucifer, fallen angel, the devil, who of course got banished to hell by God, and then some, and then decided to take a, a vacation. So he hangs out in Los Angeles, and um, everything just goes off from there. You know, Lucifer just wanted to take a break. You know, being the, being the punisher of all bad things and. I'm sure it can get real tired, tiring, especially for some spiritual beings. Like, God created the earth in about six or seven days, and on the seventh day, he didn't want to create everything. He just got tired. Like, I'm sure spiritual beings need a break too, right? So, I can understand why Lucifer wanted a vacation. Now, keep in mind, this is not the real Satan. Of course, you probably already know that because it's a TV show and Lucifer is just an actor, but still, great stuff. The characters are amazing, so much character development, so much action, drama, everything is just so good about this show. I got so invested in it that I stayed up most of, the, uh, most of every night. I know that's probably not healthy to say that you can't stay up all night, but it's summertime for crying out loud. I could do whatever the heck I want. If I want to watch five seasons of Lucifer, then fuck it. I'll watch it. No one's stopping me. And besides, when it comes to watching a show that I have that I didn't want to watch, and then I start and then I wanted to watch it because I felt like it, like everything changed. Like I should have watched it when it first came out. But for some reason, I didn't, like, you know, get interested in it. I didn't have an interest. I just didn't want to watch it. Because all of the other Netflix shows that I've watched, which is barely a whole lot of Netflix shows, because there are rare occasions where I find something really good on Netflix. And that's why I got Disney+. Plus Because Disney is every, means everything to me. Star Wars, Marvel Cinematic Universe, Disney Princesses, all that good shit. My childhood feelings right there on Disney+. Plus, But Netflix, it's good. 
but rarely I stumble upon something really good like Lucifer. And may I say, I recommend you guys watch Lucifer if you haven't seen it already. And it's amazing. I, you won't be sorry if you watch it. And it's just a game changer for me. I got so invested in the characters. I started to cry and get pissed off over certain characters. And it just baffles me and amazes me. Changed my life. And it's incredible. And myself, I can be religious but not too much. There are some people in life, in real life, who can take religion way too far. And some of you guys know those people. There, there can be judgmental Christians out there. And I'm not judgmental at all. I believe in both heaven and hell prospectively, even if I haven't been to both places. I believe in both. I guess you could say I'm in the middle between the two. So anyway, that's all I want to discuss with you guys on what I've been watching. And there's no telling if I'm ever going to finish Lucifer. Who knows? Maybe I finished it right now. Who knows? Because I must say, once you get to season three, it is so fucking long. Like every episode, 43 to 44 minutes long. But... It's worth the wait once you finish the whole series. It is so good. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say in this week's video. Like, comment, share, subscribe, all that jazz. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.